Welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a really fun video because I'm finally going to upload my convert story, aka my revert story. The way that God guided me to Islam throughout my life. Why I ended up accepting Islam as the religion of the truth and as my way of life. So to start off with, I grew up in a Christianish family. Um, we didn't pray at home. But at the same time, we went to church, okay, maybe once a year during Christmas, maybe twice a year when it was Easter. But like once a year we went to church, we didn't pray. Um, however, we did go to a Christian school where we were taught a little bit about the Bible. I also had a Bible at my house. It was like a children's version of the Bible, which I absolutely love. However, now that I look back at it, like look back at my life, I feel like I was raised pretty much with the same morals and values as in Islam. Also, when I was little, I I always believed that there was a God. I never doubted the existence of a God, even though my family did. Mm -hmm. I remember being very little, maybe like six or seven years old, and then just laying in my bed or no, even I was kneeling before my bed and praying uh, to God. I really felt that urge to pray to God, even though I didn't really know how. Um, but I just prayed. When I grew a little bit older, maybe like seven, eight, nine years old, I prayed pretty much every single night to God, and especially if I had a test. <laughs> and I remember sitting on my bed and praying to God, praying like, Dear God in the heavens and the earth, please hear me out. I know you're so busy like fixing wars and healing the sick and <laughs> I don't know what. But please, if you have time, I do have a test tomorrow. Can you please, you know, help me a little bit with that? So <laughs> I remember praying every single night to God. And yeah, really feeling that urge to pray to God as well. Um, then at the same time, I developed a new hobby of mine and it became a huge hobby up until in my teenage years uh, and it was writing. I loved writing stories um, and at first when I was really small, my stories were all about like animals and little cats and dogs and elephants, <laughs> I don't know what, uh, but when I grew a little older, my stories became more and more um, religious in the sense that it was always about um, a religious family um, and the main character was pretty much 99% of the time uh, Islamic and I don't know why this was just a really weird interest of mine because I grew up in this village with pretty much zero Muslims I never met a Muslim in real life I, I was just still little, so I was not really like looking at the news and all, but I, I just had this weird interest in Islam. So today, Islam is a way of life to me. But when I look back, when I was small, it was just this interest of mine, and I never pictured myself being a Muslim myself. Um, however, I really enjoyed incorporating it in my stories. And to make my stories more uh, based on the truth, I often went to the library, to the information section, and then I just read a whole bunch of information about Islam. So Islam was really interesting to me, but it didn't really impact me directly. Moving on to my teen years, I was still writing a lot of stories. It was still my greatest hobby. Uh, and my stories were still pretty much 99% of the time based on religion. However, in my own life, I kind of lost the connection with God at that time. So I went to high school and like I said, I grew up in this village with uh, zero Muslims. There's just no religion in my direct environment. So I lost that connection with God. Um, a couple of years later, I went to study and I went to a big city. And that was the first time that I met uh, Muslims in real life, or at least people who claimed to be Muslim. 
I was really confused at the time observing those people. It didn't match with the way that I thought Islam was supposed to be. It didn't match with the way that I described Islam in my own stories. And also it didn't match with me. It didn't match with my own morals and values. So at that time Islam became like a part of my bad show. And Islam in the media, that didn't really help either. So my interest in Islam did not disappear at all actually, but this all caused me to have so so much more questions about Islam. And I didn't know who to ask it to, um, all the way up until I actually met my husband. So my husband was one of the first, if not the first Muslim that I met, who actually matched with my idea of what Islam was supposed to be. It matched with the way that I described Islam in my stories as well as he matched his behavior, it all just matched with me. So he was to me the right person to ask all the questions that I had left. And he, he could pretty much answer all of the questions that I had and it all made so much sense to me. So at this point I was maybe 90, I was 19 years old. Because it all made so much sense to me, everything that he explained, I just had this extra motivation to again investigate Islam. I got fire inside of me, it burned again and this time I started researching Islam in an academic way instead of in a childish way just to write my own stories. So this was a period and it maybe took me one year, maybe not even a year. And in this year I really, really digged into this religion. I really did my research and after, like I said, maybe one year, I finally accepted Islam as a religion of the truth. How this year exactly went and all the things that I discovered, like the logical and the rational reasons why I ended up accepting Islam, I'll tell you in my next video that I'll upload next week. So the note that I want to end with is, I just want to emphasize how important it is to meet the right people when you're on your journey to Islam. If I, for example, never met my husband, I don't know if I, if I would have had that motivation to really dig into this religion and to really like reinvestigate Islam uh, the way that I did. So long story short, this was just my background, just the way my life went by up until the point that I accepted Islam. So this is the end of my video, this is the end of like my story, how my life went by and how God guided me to Islam throughout.